Welcome to the group Hardcore Iron Man series. This game mode has been anticipated for a very long time. There was a lot of uh, drama involving whether or not it would even pass and be in the game, but here we are. A quick overview of what group Iron Man mode is. You are an Iron Man to everybody in the game except for your group. You can trade with, you can boss with, you even have a shared bank with your teammates only. To everybody else, you're just like a regular Iron Man. For this series, I am teaming up with some very prolific streamers in the Old School RuneScape category. Our team leader is Foe, we've also got MMORPG, and we've got Roidy. All very talented gamers, and I'm excited to be playing alongside them. Foe, master game plan strategist and one of the original Iron Men to ever play this game. MMORPG. The master of the grind. No item is too rare for him. Roidy, hardcore Iron Man enthusiast, very talented PBMer. And Mr. Mammal. Together, we are farmers. But, like, not the insurance company, you know? So we all started off by preloading an account onto Tutorial Island, waiting for the update to come out. Except, I didn't actually finish the tutorial. I thought I was done, but I, I wasn't. Wizard. You haven't done the wizard?! I, t <laughs> I thought if I talked to the wizard, it would send me to Lumbridge. I thought that was how this worked. Real quick, I'd like to go over everybody's username. Uh, as we are the farmers, I decided to go with something pretty, uh, K-Kona. My username is Cattle Farmer. Paul's is Farmer Foe, Roydy's is Rotary Tiller, and then Curtis's is Losing Lives. So a little bit uh, out of the theme there, but uh, yeah, that's everybody's usernames. So my game plan to start this account was actually to follow a guide that Roydy had typed out. Now I'm going to put a link to the guide in the description. Um, if you either want to, you know, use that guide for yourself, it is great. Otherwise, I would almost recommend pulling up the guide, and then you can kind of follow along with it as I go. Because if you don't, it's going to seem like I'm all over the place. And there's the Restless Ghost. We are now level 9 Prayer. Alright, let's get our first little gift of GP. 2k, and we can flap, alright. 5,000 GP in total, and we can slap our head like a silly boy. Okay, we made it! We now have 10,000 GP. And I've got a great idea! First big boy purchase of the account. A staff of fire. Wait, should I hop worlds? Is it going to be more expensive if it's understocked? I feel like it might be. All right. There it is. We got ourselves a staff of fire. God, do we look good, huh? I love the armor. It looks so nice. And whilst I was in the Varrock vicinity, I bought 300 bronze nails and five bolts of cloth. I'm going to need the bolts of cloth and the nails for the Daddy's Home mini quest later on. And then I'll also use the nails to do some general construction training. And again, whilst in the Varrock area, I hit up my boy Aubrey and bought one of each elemental rune pack, because I'm going to need to get my magic up. At this point, I used my home teleport and started getting some stuff done around Lumbridge. I started off with the X marks the spot quest. And then furthermore, if you take all of your runes and you drop them on the floor, you can talk to the magic tutor and she will give you 30 free casts of airstrikes. So that's just free, easy magic XP right there. There it is, level 5 magic, you can now cast Water Strike, and we are moving on. We have finally made our way over to Port Sarim. so we will hand in the X Marks the Spot quest. Uh-huh, there we go, we get 200 GP off of that, and an Antique Lamp. Ooh, what do we use the Antique Lamp on? I have no idea, actually. Okay, Hetty, I've got all of your stuff. Drink from the cauldron. And there's Witch's Potion completed. That gets us to level 7 magic. You love to see it. Mr. Hobgoblin, please don't knock my head off. I beg you. 
oh god Un unironically he's actually I'm, I'm gonna die to a hobgoblin i'm gonna i'm gonna die to a fucking hobgoblin bro <laughs> jesus i'm gonna be honest when i was a kid i always called this guy kakwemix i have no idea why but uh i've always said kakwe i don't know <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do druidic rituals, so I need to kill this bear real fast to grab some raw bear meat. This is the battle of the century right now, dude. Sit down! Okay, sir, let me hand in the quest, and that should give us, I think it's what level? Level 3 Herblore, indeed, which means we can now use this antique lamp on her blower as well and now we're level six okay trying to buy a steel axe is going to prove very challenging they are sold out like legit everywhere got it how easy is that okay done got it baby let's go and now we should have the quest completed. Now, because we do plan on doing some Winter Todd, uh, we, what we are going to do is actually get a couple of pieces of the Clue Hunter gear, which, of course, you can wear for warm clothing. Uh, I believe it's by the Fishing Guild. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's right next to the oak tree. There is the Clue Hunter boots and gloves, so there's two more warm clothing pieces. Okay, there we go. There is level 20 thieving. Now, the reason we got 20 thieving is so we can pickpocket a rusty sword from a ham follower later on. But there we go. There's that done. Okay, now we're going to start working on getting the Ardoon Cloak 1 for real. We're going to start off by knocking out the quest requirements Plague City and Biohazard. See, now... That right there is the beauty of Group Iron Man. I was about to go to the Gnome Stronghold to buy this stuff, but nope. In the group storage, we've got Dwell Berries and Chocolate Dust, and that's it. We're good to go, baby. Alright, there is the Plague City quest completed. That is a prerequisite for... Oh my gosh. Gonna be level 15 mining right off the bat. Very nice. That is a prerequisite, and we can now go do Biohazard. Quick tip for the, uh, the biohazard quest. Uh, I don't know when they added this exactly, but you can actually take a boat to and from Ardune and Remington, which is a huge time save. 30 GP, boat trip, and bam, you're back in Remington. Well, I'm on this side of RuneScape again, so that I can, uh, you know, take this stuff that I need to, to, to Varrock for the biohazard quest. And I figured whilst I'm here, I should probably grab the rusty sword I'm going to need for the Ardune Easy Diaries. So wish me luck here. Hopefully I don't go mega dry on this rusty spoon. Okay, there's polish buttons. Sick. Polish buttons are required for animal magnetism, I believe. Oh, an extra one as well for the boys. Nice. Okay, that did not take long at all. I'm pretty sure that took me like... Ten pickpockets, there is the rusty sword. Very good. Mr. King Lathis, I regret to inform you that the plague is a hoax. You silly bald man. Not that I can say much, because I am also bald, but that should be the uh, biohazard quest completed. Uh, it gives you some thieving XP, and I think with that, I, I'm pretty sure I can do the Ardune Easies now, I think. Okay, two things I can do over here. I'm gonna have Tyndall Merchant identify a rusty sword for me. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a chance that I can get a rune sword, isn't there? I swear. Got a bronze sword. How good is that? <laughs> so, interesting thing about doing the uh, easy step, go out fishing on the fishing trawler. What you can do is you can join the boat by yourself, and then once you depart, all you have to do is hop worlds. You go, oopsies, I've hopped worlds, and then I should wake up on the shoreline, and the step should be completed, hopefully. Yeah, how good is that? And that's it, there is the Ardune Easy Diaries done, let's go claim our cape. 
Whilst I'm in the Ardoon vicinity, I am going to go do the Monk's Friend quest. It gives you some law runes, and it's obviously very quick and easy. So, let's do Monk's Friend real fast. Eight law runes, 2,000 woodcutting XP. Oh my, we are gaming. Okay, uh, now I am going to go do the Tree Gnome Village quest. A little spooky. Okay, we are about, I don't know, almost five hours in. And our team is rank number one for four-man groups. There we are, the Farmers. 693 total level, beautiful. Whilst I'm banking during the Tree Gnome Village quest, that reminded me I can grab my Ardune Cloak from old Two Pints. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It's honestly a very good cape for quite a while. So, of course, during the Trino Village quest, you have to kill the Khazard Warlord, and it did not go all that well. I mean, I didn't, like, die, of course, but I ran out of Earth Runes halfway through, and I was only level 12 magic at the time. So, I'm out of Earth Runes. I have no choice but to use Air Strike, which is hitting absolutely nothing, and then luckily I got to level 13, and then we could upgrade to Fire Strike, and we finished him off. Dead? Let's go! The Khazard Warlord is dead. We can go hand the quest in. Very good. Okay, there is the Tree Gnome Village quest completed. Which means we can use Spirit Trees. And that gets us up to level 28 attack. Nice. There it is, baby. There is 30 fire making. And now we can go do the Sea Slug quest. For a whopping 7,000 fishing XP, that gets us from level 1 up to level 24 fishing. That is beautiful. I'm rich. I don't know where I got these oyster pearls from, but they buy them for 560 coins. I am actually rich. What the? Okay, these guard dogs are aggressive, so we're just going to need to do a little, uh... Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Oh, God, are you okay? So, next up, we are going to do the fishing contest quest. Now, I was concerned about not having a fishing rod, but it turns out you can get a fishing rod during the quest for 5 GP. So, if you don't have a fishing rod, don't fret. You can stay on this side of the game and uh, you can get one from a good old Grandpa Jack. All right, there is the fishing contest quest completed. There's another 2.4k XP, so. You know, not as much as the other quests, but eh, free XP is always good. Okay, so next up, I am going to be doing the Daddy's Home mini quest. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and get my construction up a little bit higher as well. So, I found a, a spot that isn't super crowded. There's a couple of planks that spawn on Entrana. So, I'm just going to slowly but surely collect 120 planks on Entrana. What? Who did that? <laughs> Somebody dropped Maha- I didn't even notice. What the hell? Okay, there is Daddy's home completed. We are now level 8 construction. We've got our very own POH, and we get a bunch of free stuff, which is fantastic. Now, the real question is, will 341 bronze nails be enough, or will I bend them all? I'll probably bend them all, let's be real. <laughs> oh my. Look at my chat box. That's so bad. Oh my god. I bent like 10 of them in a row. Alright, this will be the last of my planks. We got up to level 21 construction, which is not bad if I do say so myself. With construction done, our next objective is to train our fishing so we can go do Temporos. Now, I'm doing some fly fishing in Lumbridge, and I just got level 30 fishing. So, I finally used that XP lamp I've been holding on to all day. And there it is. There is level 35 fishing. Members can now fight the Temporos, and that is what we are looking for. And last but not least, we did the Prince Ali rescue quest. And the reason I did that is because when you go to Temporos, you have to go in and out of the gate. And I figure if I get this done now, not only did I get 700 GP, but also it'll save me some money going in and out of the gate. So, with Prince Ali rescue completed, 
by golly, it is time for some Temporos. Hey, we just got the notification. Your cat, or your kitten, has grown into a healthy cat that can hunt for itself. There we go. There is the first fully grown cat of the group, Iron Man. Come here, civilian. I've got a puss for you. What? Get your mind out of the gutter. I have a cat that I could sell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will gladly take your 200 death runes. Sorry, kitty. Our, our time... Did I not accept it? Am I stupid? Oh, there we go. Okay. There's 200 death runes. And now... I will show you how I'm going to get back quickly to get another cat. Alright, so after I'm done trading the cat in, I'm going to take the spirit tree from Ardune back to the Grand Exchange. And then I can go talk to What's-Her-Face and get a new kitten. And then we can head up. Ooh, do we go for the... F oh, surely. Yes, I'll help you with your pheasants, freaky forester. Give me the shirt. Okay, we got the shirt. Woohoo! Oh, you're a real farmer now. Okay, little time-saving tip as well. If you're not going to use it for anything else, you can use your mini-game teleport to Clan Wars. That will take you to the Ferex Enclave. And once you get here, you can drink the Pool of Refreshment. And that will give you full run energy. And now with that, I've got a new kitten. I'm, I've got full run energy, and I'm ready to head back to Temporos. My boy Curtis has given us an upgrade. Oh, no, wait, yeah, okay. My boy Curtis has given us an upgrade. He's training Hunter right now, and by catching some spiked kebits, he has given us a barb tail harpoon. So that uh, saves an inventory slot. Very, very nice. All right, there's a bit of a milestone. There is level 50 fishing here at the old winter Todd. I think right now I'm on uh, kill count 18. So we are cruising right along, and there is 50 fishing. Okay, I think we're gonna go open up some uh, some loot. Right now I am level 55 fishing. I've got 193 permits. I'm very excited to see what we get. I uh, I'm I'm done for the day. I'm not quite done with with Temporos, but I'm done for the day, and I don't want to leave people hanging. So I'm gonna go open these bad boys up. Okay, shall we begin? So a reminder, when you get a unique, you're gonna heal you're gonna hear a bell jingle. So that is what we are listening for. Let's start fishing. Bro, I, I think if John Oh Okay. One Two Three back to back, holy. Oh my. Four His name is John C. That's it. Okay. Four dinglings. Moment of truth. What did we get? Oh, tackle box. Okay. Unfortunately, that's that's not all that useful. Uh, <laughs> we would have we would have we would have much rather have gotten a fish barrel. But look at the raw fish, though. 273 lobsters, 963 salmon, 695 tuna. Lots of planks. I mean, that's that's pretty good right there. Okie dokie, shall we? 11 caskets. Here we go. 20 uncut sapphires. Okay, that's good. 5k. Nice, we like money. 8 ruby rings. Okay, ruby rings, not so good. Not terrible, but... Oh, a rune med helm. Okay. You can get uh, rune full helms, so meh. 28 jades. I don't know if... J I mean, what, what the hell do you make with jades? Amulets of chemistry. Guess. Four diamond bracelets. Okay. I mean, that's alk money, I guess. Oh, ruby bracelets on a medium clue scroll. Red topaz. Seven emerald rings. Okay. Dueling rings for the boys. No Ooh, 91 gold bars. Good for making jewelry. And last but not least. 
three diamond necklaces. Okay, not the best caskets, I feel like. Not the best caskets. Now, whilst I work on this video, I'm going to do some wood cutting and get my fire making level up. I'm not quite done with Temporos, but once I do finish Temporos, I'm going to be doing some Winter Todd. So, uh, whilst I edit this video, may as well get some fire making done, because I'll need to get up to level 50 before I can start doing Winter Todd, but that will be tomorrow's goal. Well, I chopped and burned willows until I got level 35 fire making. At that point, I moved over to Teaks. Now, the easiest place to chop teaks at a low level is here in the Isle of Souls. Uh, it's way on the north side of the island, uh, but there's a few teak trees just chilling. It's very, very popular right now with uh, group Iron Men, so it was a little contested, but uh, a big shout out to Foe for getting us rune axes last night. Without the rune axe, this would have taken way, way longer, but there we go. There is level 50 fire making. So, at the start of next video, I can finish off Temporos, and we are also now ready for Winter Todd as well. And I think I'm going to call it a video there. This is pretty much all my progress from day one and a little bit of uh, the morning of day two. Now, I, I just want to say that I think in future videos, there's probably going to be more opportunity for uh, group content, if that makes sense. So, like, you know, these early videos, we all need to get our accounts going and, and running. Um, so we're doing a lot of things separately, but I think in the future, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for content where we're all on Discord together, you know, doing bosses. So I know this is like a group Iron Man series, and it might kind of just seem like a solo progress video. Understand that it's going to be like that for a little bit until we build our accounts up and we can actually start doing stuff together. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you are looking forward to the rest of the series.